What's going on guys, Super Insane 18 here, and as promised, here is a combo tutorial for sprites, as I said in yesterday's video. I'm definitely going to go ahead and bring you guys a ton of content on this. Make sure that you stay tuned until the very last combo, because it's actually going to be showcasing some things that we were not playing in yesterday's deck profile, so I want to make sure that we're getting you guys a little bit of some of the updates I've already made to the deck. So without further ado, here are five must-know sprite combos. Alright guys, so you've definitely heard me say a lot recently that any deck that is good in the current format and has been good in the last couple of formats always has a one card combo and that is going to be no different for sprite so let's go ahead and show you the basic bread and butter now this is uh doable with the starter or you can just start with blue but starter is definitely the better one and i'll tell you why so we're going to start and just in our draw phase we're going to activate the starter that's why it's better to have the starter because you can do it in your draw phase which will let you play around troll and lockburn Starter will go ahead and summon your Sprite Blue, which will then activate the effect of Sprite Blue to search, and we will search Jet. So we still can't be drolled yet, which is why it's better to start with the Starter. Now we go to our Standby and our Main Phase. We go ahead and Special Summon out our Jet and activate its effect, which will add us a, another copy of Sprite Starter. And now if they droll us, it doesn't matter because we're done searching for the entire turn, so we just completely played around one of the strongest hand traps in the format. Now we can take the jet and the blue, and we will overlay them into the gigantic sprite, and we can activate the gigantic sprite effect, uh, detaching either of the materials, it does not matter which one, and we can go ahead and summon out our swap frog. Now swap frog on summon will send any frog or ronin totem to the grave, so we will send the copy of ronin totem, and then we can take the swap frog and the gigantic sprite, and we can link them into our copy of sprite elf. Here we can use the effect of Sprite Elf to reborn a level 2, which we will do to reborn the Swap Frog, which will activate the Swap Frog effect one more time because it is not once per turn. So now we can go ahead and send another copy of the Swap Frog. Now, I summoned it to the zone that the Elf pointed to for a very particular reason. Elf also has an effect that anything it points to cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects, so that lets us play around cards like Imperm or Valor. I mean, they probably would have used that by now anyway, but just in case you want to play it as safe as possible. Now that we have everything we need in our graveyard, we're going to go ahead and activate the Ronin Totem by banishing the Swap Frog, which will allow us to summon it back to uh, the field, and then we can take the Swap and the Ronin, and we can go ahead and go into our Totally Awesome. Now we'll go ahead and set our Sprite Starter to our side of the field, and that's going to end our turn. And what this is going to give us is actually three separate negates, two of which are Omni Negates, one of which you can choose, as well as the ability to get a Dupe Frog on the field with the effect of Totally Awesome. So the Totally Awesome during the standby can use its effect to detach and summon the Dupe Frog, and then you can also use the starter during your opponent's turn to summon either the Red or the Carrot, depending on whichever one you feel you need more, if you need a Spell Trap Negate or if you need a Monster Negate. Then not to mention the Sprite Elf will be able to reborn the Toad after you send it to the graveyard for its own effect, and that just gets you an additional Negate as well. Alright, now for combo number two, we are going to be doing a two card combo. It is going to be Sprite Starter, and then whichever normal summon you prefer for the deck. It could be either the Deep Sea Diva like we have here, or like I showed you in my deck profile yesterday, it could be the Dark Beckoning Beast. Doesn't matter, just a normal summon that we'll be able to put two level twos on field. And let me show you what we're going to do. Same as the last combo, in our draw phase, we're going to start with the Sprite Starter, and this is going to go ahead and summon out the blue from our deck, activating the blue effect to then search for the jet. Once again, playing around the Droll and Lockbird, we can proceed to Standby and Main Phase, Special Summon out our Jet and activate its effect to grab our copy of Starter, and now we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing that we did in the first combo, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of breeze through it, we're going to go ahead and overlay into the Gigantic Sprite, detach the uh, material from the Sprite to summon the Swap Frog, Swap Frog will then go ahead and send Ronin to our Graveyard, we can then link the Swap Frog and the Gigantic Sprite back into our Sprite Elf, the elf will be able to activate its effect, reborning the swap frog. Swap frog not being once per turn can go ahead and send the second swap frog. Now that we have another swap frog, we can use the effect of Ronin Toten, summoning it by banishing our swap frog, and we can overlay into our copy of Totally Awesome. So this is where the combo ended for the first one, but let me show you what we can do with the additional normal summon. 
So since we have not normal summoned, all of that was done off of the Sprite Starter, we can go ahead and normal summon out our Deep Sea Diva, activate the effect of Deep Sea Diva, and it will special summon another Deep Sea Diva from our deck. Now, like I said, this could be the Dark Beckoning Beast, because the Dark Beckoning Beast will search you the opening of the Spirit Gates, and the opening gets you another Dark Beckoning, and then you can normal summon a second uh, Dark Beckoning because of the first one's effect. So, it ends the same way, but for simplicity, we'll just Diva into Diva. Then we can take both of our Deep Sea Divas, and we can link them into a copy of IP Mascarina. We will then set our Sprite Starter and pass our turn. So, we still have three cards in our hand on our opponent's standby phase. We're going to go ahead and use the effect of Totally Awesome. This is going to special out a copy of Dupe Frog. Then if we want to activate our Sprite Starter, we can do that to either get a Red or a Carrot again, depending on what we feel we need for the matchup that we're in. And plus, on top of all of that, we now have the additional IP Mascarina, which can make us something like a Nightmare Unicorn, just for another form of interruption during our opponent's turn. Alright guys, so combo number three is actually going to be the first one showcasing a card that we weren't playing in yesterday's profile, and it's just a little bit important. It's not going to come up all that often, but if you were to open up something like Swap Frog, with four just either unplayable cards or hand traps or whatever it is if you just absolutely bricked and saw nothing but the swap frog here's what we can do we're going to start by normal summoning out the swap frog and using its effect to send the copy of ronin we can then link away our swap frog into the copy of almirage now here we can summon out the Ronin Toten by banishing the Swap Frog, and to make Sprite Elf we just need a level 2 monster, which we have the Ronin. So we will go ahead and make the Sprite Elf using the Ronin and the Almirage. Then we can use the Elf effect to reborn the Ronin, and since the effect of Gigantic Sprite allows us to make it using a Link 2, we can go ahead and use the Ronin and the... Uh, elf to go into our gigantic sprite. Here we can activate the effect of our gigantic sprite, specifically detaching the Ronin Toten, and this will let us summon out another copy of Swap Frog. On summon, the Swap Frog will activate, sending a copy of Swap Frog from our deck to the graveyard, and then we can go ahead and use the Ronin Toten effect again because it is not once per turn, banishing our Swap Frog and summoning out our Ronin Toten. Now we can overlay the Swap Frog and the Ronin Toten for a copy of Totally Awesome, and that's pretty much going to be our turn, but it at least lets us get into an Omni Negate with a 3200 attack Gigantic Sprite, and on our opponent's standby, we're going to go ahead and detach off of the Totally Awesome to summon out the Dupe Frog, at least protecting some of our stuff from battle. So we'll get the Omni Negate, we'll get a little bit of protection, and it at least gets us somewhere off of nothing. Alright guys, for combo number 4, it is going to be with Sprite Blue and Sprite Red. Now, either one of these two is actually interchangeable with uh, Sprite Starter, so it doesn't really matter. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is that your first summon should be Red, so if you open Red Starter, you're going to normal the Red. If you open Blue Starter, you're going to Starter into the Red first, and let me show you guys how this one goes. So, we're going to start here by normal summoning out our Red, and then because we control a level 2, we can use the effect of Sprite Blue to special summon it. Here, the Sprite Blue will activate its effect, allowing us to to search for the copy of Jet, and that's why it's kind of important that we have the red here, because if we need to, we can use the red to negate a hand trap. But we're gonna say best case scenario, just because I wanna show you guys the full combo, we don't have to use the red here. Now that we have the Sprite Jet, we can go ahead and special summon it because we control a level two, and using the Jet, we can add our copy of Starter. Now we've summoned three times for summon number four, we are going to go ahead and make our Gigantic Sprite, and then activate its effect, which makes us Nibiru-proof, so we'll never have to waste our red on a Nibiru, and the Gigantic Sprite is going to summon out the Swap Frog. Now the combo is going to proceed the same way that the first two did here. The Swap Frog is going to send the copy of Ronin Toten to our graveyard. We'll then take the Swap Frog and the Gigantic Sprite, and we will link them into the copy of Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf will be able to reborn the Swap Frog. The Swap Frog will be able to send another copy of Swap Frog to our graveyard, and then we can use the effect of Ronin by banishing the Swap Frog in our graveyard, summoning out the Ronin Toten, and using the Swap and the Ronin to make our copy of Toad. Now, here's where it's a little bit better, because previously, where we would have to choose between either Red or Carrot, now that we were able to summon the red from the start of our combo, the starter can go ahead and just get us the carrot immediately, giving us access to both. So we'll set the starter. On our opponent's standby, we'll activate the effect of our Totally Awesome. This will summon out our copy of Dupe Frog. And then we can also use our Sprite Starter, which will allow us to summon out our copy of Carrot. And that gives us a total of four negates because we'll be able to negate with the Totally Awesome, sending it. Then we'll be able to Reborn with the Elf, then we'll be able to use Red and Carrot, and we would also be able to use Toad, either getting rid of the Dupe Frog itself, 
or we can use the effect in the grave when we tribute it the first time to add back our swap frog that we can just send the swap frog but that's two cards that ends us on four negates and we still have three cards in our hand so it's definitely possible that we still have hand traps or even more interruption and i think that combo is just a little bit nutty and for our fifth and final combo, it's definitely by far the most degenerate one that I have shown you so far, and we are going to be abusing Halk in a very disgusting way, but what else is new? It's going to be utilizing some of the cards that we were not playing in yesterday's profile, but are playing moving forward. Let's show you guys what it's going to be. We're going to start off by normal summoning out our Deep Sea Diva and activating its effect, which will summon the Yamantako Orochi from the deck. Now, Yamantako Orochi can be used as a level 8 if we use it for a Synchro Summon, and it is a tuner itself as well. So now that we have the Diva as well, we can Special Summon the Sprite Blue because we control a level 2, and Sprite Blue will activate and let us go ahead and search our Sprite Jet. Now, before we do anything else, we'll take the blue and the Orochi, and remember, Orochi can be used as a level 8, and we're going to Synchro Summon into a copy of Baron de Flore, and it's very important that we put it in this zone. You'll see why a little bit later in the combo. Now we can Special Summon out our Jet since we still control a level 2, and Jet will activate, allowing us to grab our copy of Sprite Starter. Now, since Diva is a tuner as well, we can take the Diva and the Jet, and we can summon out our Halky Fibrax. Now, what Halky Fibrax is going to do here is it's actually going to summon any hand trap tuner that you want, and it doesn't matter which one, you can pick and choose depending on the matchup you're in. For example's sake, we're going to go ahead and show Ash Blossom, but it can be literally any of the hand trap tuners, so Ghost Ogre, Effect Veiler, Bell, does not matter. But now we're going to go ahead and summon out the, uh, or use the starter to summon out any sprite name. It does not matter. We're just going to use red here. Uh, but the reason we need another sprite name is because we can take the sprite that we summon off of the starter, as well as the Crystron Halky Fibrax, and summon out our gigantic sprite, because gigantic sprite can use a link to his material. Now using the sprite, we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing we've done in every combo so far. We're going to use it to detach and summon the swap frog. The swap frog is going to activate sending the copy of Ronin to our graveyard. And then we can use the swap and the gigantic to link summon into a copy of elf. But we're going to put the elf over here on this side. Now the reason that was the important placement for the baron is because at the end of the combo, the elf is going to be pointing both to our baron and our totally awesome, making both unable to be targeted by our opponent's card effects. But now we can use the elf to reborn out our swap frog and use the swap frog to send another copy of swap frog again the same exact thing we've done in every combo we'll then banish the swap frog to summon out our ronin toten and then before we link away we're going to use the swap frog to return the tuner that we summoned back to our hand now what swap frog can do is it can return any monster on your field to your hand and then it gives you an additional summon of a frog that turn but we don't have to use the normal summon of the frog so we're just doing it to kind of search a hand trap by summoning it off the halk and then returning it with the swap frog now we'll take the Swap Frog and the Ronin, and we will go ahead and summon out the Totally Awesome and pass our turn. On our opponent's standby, we will use the Totally Awesome, go ahead and summon out the Dupe Frog, and now we ended on three Omni Negates because we'll get Toad twice thanks to Elf, we'll get the effect of the Baron, and any Hand Trap that we searched as well. And there you guys have it, that is going to be five must-know sprite combos for the upcoming potential tier 0 format. I hope you guys enjoyed, this deck is absolutely crazy and I can't wait to bring you guys more content on it, but you know the deal, if you liked it make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, share with your friends, and maybe consider supporting me on Patreon, because for just a dollar you can support the channel in a way that I would never be able to tell you how much I fully appreciate. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.